Some residents of an apartment complex for seniors and the disabled in Port Orange say that they've been trapped in their units going on two months now. The complex's elevator went out June 10th due to a lightning strike. Western's Claire Metz reports without it, many who can't manage stairs in the three-story complex are simply stuck. I go down and do my own laundry. Can't do that. I have to pay somebody. I go down and get my groceries. Can't do that. I have to pay somebody. Buddy Kunselman lives on the second floor of Epiphany Manor on Ridgewood Avenue, where, due to a disability, he relies on his mobility scooter to get around. No problem when the elevator's working, but it's not. Hasn't been since a lightning strike hit the building seven weeks ago. Buddy can look outside, but he can't go outside. There's lots, several people that can't get out because they're either in wheelchairs or they're in uh, scooters like mine. It's been repaired since the 7th from what I was told. Mike Diaz is in the same boat as Buddy, disabled, unable to walk, and he's on the third floor. Though work on the damaged elevator is done, it's still not operational. Diaz has to rely on others for food, groceries. He's missed important doctor's appointments. Up and down stairs is out of the question, so it's a must to have the elevator, especially when I'm going through therapy and trying to get to walk again. We spoke briefly by phone with the regional manager of the company in charge of this property. She says the company moved quickly to get the elevator repaired, but that it wasn't an easy fix. Then they had to wait on parts. Now she says they're waiting on the state to permit the repaired elevator. Residents say under the circumstances with so many elderly and disabled, it's an emergency situation that should be prioritized. We've reached out by phone and email to the Department of Business and Professional Regulation, the state agency that handles permitting. We're still waiting for a response. In Port Orange, Volusia County, Claire Metz, WESH 2 News. Residents also complain they have not been regularly updated on the situation by the management company, but a spokesman for the company said they were on site today reaching out to every resident about the situation.